when Jesus had that amazing meeting with the Samaritan woman, he was talking about this bubbly wellspring within him. If you had some of this water that I have inside me, you wouldn't have to come to this well every day because the water you're drinking, the water you're carrying from the well back to your village every day, you drink that water and in a little while you're thirsty again. He says, if you had some of this water, this living water of eternal life that I have, if you drink my water, you'll never be thirsty again. Well, that wellspring was this electromagnetic force field, the Tao, that charges, that energizes, that animates its images with origin. Jesus was a shaman. He was a channel of the source, the origin. He was a conduit of that electromagnetic energy that charge that came directly from the source. When people see auras or halos, I always used to think in those old paintings from hundreds of years ago when they have halos around the saints or around the disciples. I always thought that was just a, an artistic device to let us know who the cast of characters were. The ones with the halos were the special people to make sure we knew who they were from the ones who didn't have the halos. Then when we start learning more about auras, we realize, oh, this wasn't just an artistic device. Shamans, people who are channeling source energy, you do have an aura. So we've referred many times to the uh, garment of brightness. This isn't just a figure of speech. It isn't just saying, oh, be in a good mood. That radiance of that charge that you channel, that's real. And we uh, did this word game a few sessions ago. D-E-I-W, which is the root of these English words. Here's a French word, Dieu, God. This is the root of our word divine. And the most direct translation of this root is shine. God, the source, the Tao, is that which shines. It's that radiant energy. And we live and speak and think and all of our, every pore of our being, our discipline is being pure conduits, pure agents of that radiant divine will.